Hello everyone and welcome back to Cobain History. In today's video we are gonna have a look at some news articles from the past week related to history and what happened before that. So we'll get right into it with the first story. An excavation site in North Dakota has been described as having captured the day the asteroid impact that wiped out the non-avian dinosaurs took place. The site is part of the famous Hell Creek Formation, which is known for its abundance in fossils. But this story has come under some criticism due to the findings first being described in an article in the New Yorker, before the study was officially published. What the study found was a deposit about 3 feet thick, with fossil evidence of fish and other marine vertebrates ammonites, vegetation and burrows made by animals. Over 50% of the fish that were found there died from small claws beads that got stuck into their gills and suffocated them. These tiny claws beads formed from droplets of molten rock that were sprayed into the atmosphere after the asteroid impact and then rained back down onto North America in the aftermath of the impact. These glass beads and the fact that they caused the death of over half of the fossils that were found there indicate that this is an actual excavation site of the day or the days after the asteroid impacted. That's not the only evidence they found there, there's also evidence indicating that a giant wave surged up the river valley later on that day or in the days after, caused by the shock wave of the impact. But this is still early days in the excavation, so hopefully we will eventually find some bigger fossils from dinosaurs or other animals. So on to our second story. A fossil of an ancient relative of whales has been unearthed in Peru. This animal had not yet lost its legs like modern whales have, and lived both on land as well as in the water. This fossil is more interesting than it appears, as it is the first quadrupedal whale that has been discovered for the whole of the Pacific Ocean and the Southern Hemisphere as a whole. The group of creatures that it belonged to evolved from hooved mammals in the area where Pakistan and India are today. It is a transitional species between that first hooved mammal and the whales we know today. Its tail was getting more and more adapted to swimming in the water, but it still had legs with small remnants of hooves on the very tips of its fingers and toes. So it's surprising that these creatures, which weren't 100% aquatic yet, were found in the Americas. It is thought that they first migrated to Africa from India and Pakistan, and with the help of the ocean currents and the fact that Africa and South America were closer to each other back then than they are today, helped the species migrate from Africa to South America, and they later made their way up to North America as well. The next story takes place a bit more recently in ancient Rome. Archaeologists in Pompeii have discovered a fast food stand that lured its customers in with provocative art. This picture you see on screen now is a scantily clad sea nymph which was painted on the storefront of a thermopolium in Pompeii. A thermopolium was a common type of stand which sold ready-to-eat food, so it's often been described as uh, Pompeii's fast food stands. The art on the side panel of the storefront depicts it as such. So looking at this picture on the side, the passing people would know that they could get quick food there. But I imagine the central artwork was the thing that really brought the customers in. Inside the store, a number of amphora, which were these types of containers, were found, which resembles the depiction on the side of the storefront. So on to our last story. A 16th century shipwreck was discovered in the Netherlands by a team that was tasked to recover a transport container that had fallen off a ship earlier this year. This discovery is significant to the Netherlands, as it is the oldest seafaring ship that has been discovered in their waters. The ship, which was around 30 meters long, was built in the Netherlands around 1540 and was carrying a shipment of copper plates, 
which have been dated to the same time period. The plates bear the mark of the Fugger family, which had a monopoly on copper production at that time. I'd like to make this a weekly series, so let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. And if you're interested in historical content as a whole, you can check out my channel to find more history related videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.